Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about microscope. How to use it? What are parts of microscope? How, how image is formed in microscope and different cautions, right? So let's see first parts of microscope. So this is eyepiece where we are going to see here, right? This is tube. Then this is a uh, nose piece here and objective lenses. So different objective lenses from starting from low par to high par and then oil immersion, right? This is arm having coarse adjustment and fine adjustment. This is stage which is having clips to fix a slide, right? This is substage which is having two parts condenser and diaphragm which are basically adjusted to stay, adjust the illumination, right? Depending on which lens we are using. There is a, a light source, right? Uh, in some compound microscope there is mirror also. So uh, having two type of mirror, plane mirror which is used for natural light shores and concave mirror which is used for artificial light shows like bulb. There is a base, right? So coarse adjustments you needed to move the mechanical stays toward the lens or away from lens, right? The same is done by fine also, but this is uh, approximately mm, few mm, so which is not visible. So first of all, use coarse adjustment to basically focus the slides as some cells are uh, visible then we have to use fine adjustment to increase the clarity. So that's all about parts of microscope, right? Now, this is very important question is how to focus a slide under a microscope. Different medical and paramedical students are given OSPI uh, in this. So you have you should know the steps, how to soap it. So first of all, obviously place the slide using the mechanical stage screws, right? Use light shores, it should be switched on. Use low power lens. Fine. Adjust the concave meter if, if it's artificial light. Position the slide correctly on light shows obviously because if you have smear that should be on aperture so that it will be visible. Low, lowest this is at lowest position because we are talking about low power here. So with low power the condenser should be at lowest position and iris diaphragm should be partially open. Use coarse adjustment image the image and use fine adjustment to increase the clarity. So that's all about how you'll go about it to focus a slide, right? Let's recap this. So as I told, with low part, should be at lowest. condenser should be at lowest position, iris diaphragm should be partially open. If you are going toward oil immersion, we have to increase the illumination, right? So high power, the condenser should be at mid position, iris diaphragm half open. For oil immersion, the condenser should be at highest position and iris diaphragm should be fully open. So this is the maximum illumination stage, right? Now let's see how image is formed in microscope. So from here we are seeing, so this is eyepiece having low power, right? Then here, this is objective lens. Whatever is the power, we can change it. So here on the slide, this is object, for example, a cell. Fine. So this AB is an object. Now this AB through the rays, this is a convex lens, right? And Wherever the image, the rays basically converge, here image form. So for this lens, which is the objective lens, the AB image is found to be a real inverted image. Right? So this AB is a real inverted image. Now, for this eyepiece, the inverted AB image, which is a real image, it act as, acts as an object. Now the rays from this go toward our eye. Fine, but they are not converging, so we draw a virtual image by drawing backward, right? So here they converge, and this AB again inverted, but the image is virtual. Fine, so basically, the image formed in microscope is the virtual image, right? Now, there are two terms which are very important when we talk about microscope it's magnification and resolution. Magnification is how much bigger a sample or a cell appear to be under microscope than it is in real sense. Right? So obviously multiplied via how much multiplication of the real size we are seeing here. That is magnification. If we talk about resolution, it's ability to distinguish between two points of an image, the amount of detail, right? So how much the two, uh, the closer one, two uh, objects we are able to see. So that is all about magnification and resolution. If we 
if we calculate the magnification of uh, the lens, the total magnification, if the objective lens is, for example, 100 and IPC is always 10, so the total magnification will be multiplication of both. So 100 into 10, 1000 times and 14 to 10, 14 to 10, 400 times, right? So that is how we calculate total magnification. Now there are some precautions we should follow during uh, uh, during uh, focusing of the image. So first of all, when lowering the tube, you must look from side, not without looking. You have to use coarse adjustment, right? Don't allow chemicals to touch the microscope. Don't rub the lens for cleaning. Wipe the lens with lens bar or clean with xylene. Always start with low bar and proceed to high bar or oil immersion, but not vice versa. Because we have to, we have not to go from oil immersion to low bar, right? So that's all about microscope. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you